Hello guys, welcome back. Today, in the next five minutes, we are going to go in deeper in machine learning. Till now, we have seen five steps of machine learning. Today, I am going to tell you the sixth step. Now, the sixth step is calculating accuracy or loss. Now, there are various methods of calculating accuracy, loss, and we can spend hours together, but that is an important step. Now, before moving ahead, just a quick revision of five steps of machine learning. First is data collection. Second one is bifurcation of data. Third one is model selection. Fourth one is model uh, fitting. And fifth one is model prediction. Now, let me share my screen. Okay. Now, today I'm going to take a simplest program of machine learning, which generally people use to start. And that, that is Iris dataset. Now, Iris is the name of flower, which has three varieties. First variety is called Setosa. Second variety is called Versicolor. And third variety is called Versicolor. Now, these varieties are decided based on its sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. Now, the iris data set, you, have, you will get it anywhere. I have downloaded it from Wikipedia, but there are various sources from which you can download it. It's an open source. Now, you have four different independent variables. And from that, you need to calculate one dependent variable, that is class level. So, if you know sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width, you are supposed to calculate which flower is it. Now, let us go and see how we can do it. First of all, you have to import certain libraries from Python. So, majorly import pandas as pd pandas is for tabular representation from sklearn i'm using the model logistic regression in our last lecture we have used the model linear regression now i have taken a bit complex model than linear that is logistic in order to calculate accuracy we have used cross validation score this is step number six which we are going to study today this is for warnings. It's not compulsory for you to use it. Anyway, this is my first. Now, five steps. First step is data. Data, pd.read.html, iris flower data set. So I'm basically downloading data from a uh, website, HTML website, that is Wikipedia. So from Wikipedia, I'm asking it to download. I'm telling him that first column should be the index one. And from the complete HTML file, what I'm saying is take out the zero table, that is first table. So run this, check whether the data is there or not, and we have received the data. There are in all 150 values. Now, first step is done data collection. We have taken out data from internet. Second step is bifurcation of data into X and Y, wherein X is independent and Y is dependent. So, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width will be my X. And this species will be my y. So x equal to from data set one, drop just spaces. So you just drop this column. So remaining everything will be your x. And y is from data set, just take this column spaces, and that will be your y. So we have bifurcated the data. Now we want to find out if sepal length is 5.1, sepal width is 3.5, petal length is 
and petal width is 0.2. What will be this flower? So I have taken this value. You can take any value as you like. Now, two steps are done. Data collection is done. Bifurcation of data into X and Y is done. Third step is model selection. So we have already taken model as logistic regression. Then next step, step number four is data fitting or you fit X and Y with the help of this model. We call it as model fitting. And then last step is prediction. And it has given the answer as setosa. So if these values are there in Z, then you will get setosa as the type of high risk problem. Now, these are five steps. I want to check how accurate was my prediction. In order to check the accuracy, I use cross validation score. And in cross validation score, we give model, we give value of X, we give value of Y, and we try to take small parts and check the accuracy. And overall, we calculate the mean of it so that we get the 100% accuracy. So we got 97.33% accuracy with logistic regression model. Now, if we change the model, accuracy will change. That we are going to see in our next lecture. I hope you have enjoyed the session. If you have any query, please uh, ask in the comment box. If you require this sheet, please let me know. I will be more than happy to share it with you. Thank you very much.